Okay, now we're going to be starting Chapter 10, Lesson 5, Metric Measures. And the main difference between this lesson and the ones prior is that we're going to be working with base tens. And so we're going to be multiplying and dividing by powers of 10, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so forth, as opposed to before where our conversions focused on multiplying and dividing by 12 or 3 or 1,760 and so forth. So, how do we set up these equations? Well, first we need to see what all these things mean. You know, if you're looking on here, you see things like CM, MM, you see a big L, a CL. These are prefixes, K, H, D, A, D, C, M, short for kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli. Now, if you're going to use anything outside of the square that I wrote, then this is the prefix. You're going to see this letter before one of these ones. So for instance, you'll see this small c, centi, in front of the L, liter. And so when we're using these, we'll team one of these up with one of these. So you might see like an HM, and if you see the letter HM, it means hectometer. Um, you might team up a K and a G, and if you team up the K and the G, it's kilogram. And so this is the beginning of the word, this is the end of the word. If you ever see the letter M by itself, it's going to stand for meter, not milli. Because in order for us to use this one, you're going to need a um, one of the ones in the box. So if you ever just see a regular M, it's referring to meter, not milli. It will only be milli if it's followed by a G, like milligram, or followed by an L, milliliter. Um, so that being said, that's kind of how to read this chart. If you see CM, it'll be CM centimeter. If you see ML, it would be ML milliliter. Okay, that's part one. So our first step is, let's look at number one. Number one is asking, although we gave the answer and things, 16M equals blank MM. The first step I want you to do is to rewrite underneath it what, we're, what the M stands for. So 16M stands for 16 meters because there's no prefix to it. It's just the root equals blank MM. And mm is going to stand for millimeter. So all you have to do for step one is to take their shorthand version and to use our cheat sheet to see where is it going. Now the second step is to count. How do you get from meters to millimeters? So look at how I did that. I went from meter to millimeter, and I'm using those because that's what it's asking for. So how do you get from meter to millimeter? Let's count the steps. We'll move over one, two, three times. You see how I'm shifting to the right? How many times you're starting at meter and you're ending at millimeter, how many shifts do you have to go? You're shifting one, two, three times. So you're going three times. You're going three times. And are we going from meter to millimeter? Are we going right or are we going left? We're going this way, which is right. Now, what that means is that when we go right, we're going to multiply. And we're shifting the place value three times. When you're shifting the place value three times, you're multiplying by a power that has three zeros which is 1,000. So our equation is going to be the number that we start with times 1,000, and that'll give us our final answer. Now the cool thing about this is that we know how to multiply by powers of 10. All we have to do is if we're multiplying, we're going to move the decimal three times to the right. One, two, three. And the decimal is now here. And you're going to add zeros. So our final answer is 16,000.
I'm going to do that again to show you. It's number one, 16,000. Let's do that again and break it down one more time. <coughs> Let's turn this paper over and start number two. Number two is asking for 6,500 CL equals blank L. Okay, so right now we're just writing down the equation. Now step one is to write out what are these shortcut mean? What does this shortcut mean? So it's 6,500. Oh, did I need to write the number? Yeah, 6,500. What does CL stand for? Here's the CL. It stands for centiliter. Centiliter equals how many? What does the L stand for? Liter. So, step one, just write out the shorthand version aloud. 6,500 centiliter to blank liters. And here we're starting at centiliter because this is the start. And we're going to liter, so we're going to here. So if we start here and we're going here, we're counting how many times do we shift? How many place values are we moving? So if we're starting at centiliter and we're ending here, we're shifting one, two times. So we're going twice. Now, are we going to the left or are we going to the right? If we're starting here and we're going this way, we're going two times this way. Now, if we're going two times to the left, we're getting smaller, we're dividing. So we're dividing by power and the power of two placeholders. So we're dividing by 100. We get this two because we're shifting over two place values and we're going to the left, so we're dividing. Right would be multiplying. So our equation is 6,500 divided by 100. So 6,500 the decimals right here. Move it two times to the left because we're dividing, getting smaller by 100. And it's 65. So that's going to be pretty much the format for each of them. You rewrite what the shorthand is. You check if you're going to the left or you're going to the right. And your left is division, right is multiplication. And you're sh counting the place values, how many times you're shifting. And from there, you do that equation. If you have any questions or you want me to break it down again, let me know. Um, all right. Okay, for the problem solving, I do want to get you started. Bria, 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 ordered 145 centimeters of fabric. Jaylene ordered 1.5 meters of fabric. Who ordered more fabric? Or you could say one and five tenths meters. So we have two people and we're comparing. If we're going to be comparing, it's going to look a lot like numbers 10 through 15. So you're going to have one of those circles. And we have two people. We have how much Bria ordered and how much Jaylene ordered. Bria's amount was 145 centimeters. Jaylene's order was 1 and 5 tenths meters. Who ordered more? So what you're going to do is figure out if this is less than, greater than, or equal to. And if it's less than, then Bria ordered less than Jaylene. If it's greater than, Jaylene ordered more than Bria. I mean, if it's greater than, then Bria ordered more than Jaylene. Sorry. Um, and then if it's equal to, then they ordered the same amount. That being said, you could either convert 145 centimeters into meters, or you could convert 1 and 5 tenths meters into centimeters. But now that you have this equation set up and you know what it should look like, you should be doing very similar work for 10 through 15. Okay, I'm also going to get you started with number 17. Ed fills his sports bottle with 1 and 2 tenths liters of water. After his bike ride, he drinks 200 milliliters of the water. 
how much water is left in Edit's sports bottle. So this one's not a compare and contrast, so it won't look quite like this. Since you're trying to figure something out, you're going to use a picture box. Now what happened was this, this gentleman filled up his water bottle, he drank some, and then he had some left. So, do you know the total of how much um, water he started with? Yes. You have 1.2 liters of water in the way beginning. Now, during the bike ride, he drinks some, so that's going to be one box. And then, during the bike ride, he has leftover. So, this is what he drinks. This is the leftover. Now, how much did he drink? He drank 200 milliliters. How much do you have left over? You don't know. And normally what we would do is, because the number is getting smaller and it's not repeating, we would subtract one, uh, the total by the, by the part that he drank. We took away some water. He filled up the water bottle, he took some away, how much is left? We would subtract because it's taking away. The only reason why you can't do that quite yet is because one is liters and one is milliliters. So you have one option. You could either change, you have two options. One and two tenths liters into milliliters, and then subtract this amount of milliliters by this amount of milliliters, or you could change 200 milliliters into liters and subtract one and two tenths liters from the conversion of whatever this liter is. This one is going to look very similar to what we did for 10-4 in the sense that you have to convert them to the same standard before doing the operation. So, good luck.